Hello, welcome to Linux Help Tutorial. In this segment, we can see how to install PCBSD Desktop. So, PCBSD is an open source Unix like desktop operating system created upon the most recent release version of FreeBSD. So, the main purpose is to give the experience of FreeBSD easy and obtainable for the regular computer user by providing some KDE like interface desktops. So, normally, uh, PCBSD is accompanied with KDE Plasma Desktop, but you can also uh, uh, specify the option during the installation itself. So now we can go for the installation. Uh, it will ask for the options. Just hit enter. That is to boot multi-user. So uh, the first step, uh, it will ask for the language to select. So now you can select English and just click next. So before we go for the system selection, we can check for the system's hardware. So just click uh, back and go for this option. And there you can see the video driver, video resolution, Ethernet, Wi-Fi and sound devices. Uh, so you can see the video resolution is fitted and the Ethernet is connected and also sound device is also connected. So just close and give next and here you can give the desktop or server up to your name. So here I have selected desktop and next. And before we go for the disk selection, we can select some packages. So just click back and go to customize. There you can see the available packages. So in desktop. I am just clicking awesome cinnamon and KDE is already selected and Lumina mate and some other packages if you want to install you can select over here and once the packages is selected just click save and now you can go to the disk selection so now in this disk selection category uh, it will allocate the default configuration for installing PCBST as you can see the file system as ZFS and the size is mentioned here. So if you want to customize you can go here and customize for your needs. So but here I need to install only the basic setup. So I am just giving next and yes. So it will start installing the PCBST operating system. So there you can see the system is now installed and after the installation you have to click finish to reboot the system so once the system is restarted it will ask for the display configuration settings so they will it will allocate the default resolution as 800 into 600 and i have installed in vmware so it displays the driver as vmware so if you need to change you can click no and go to the settings you can change uh, to keep the same resolution as uh, as a default you can click yes and once again it will ask for the language confirmation and you may click english and click next and it will ask for the system time zone so here I am changing my time zone as Asia Kolkata. So Asia and then yeah, there you can see Asia Kolkata. So I'm just set to the system time zone and the system host name is I'm setting pcbst.linuxhelp.com and the domain name we can specify inside the configuration so once the setup is done you can click next and there you need to set up the root password so i am setting the root password as 12345 so i am then click next it will ask for the user creation so i am creating the user as user1 and the username is the same and the password i am giving as 123 and the password confirmation is 123 and the user ID can also be changed here. I'm just giving one double zero one as the default. And then next. So we don't need to change any settings here. And just click next. So we can select if you need to enable SSH or IPv6. So just click next. 
so at last the basic configuration and the setup is completed and if you click finish it will go into your new desktop and this is the first login screen of PCBST operating system uh, here, here you can see the host name and the user one and just click the password if you need to change the desktop you can change it over here like cinnamon kde mate flexbox so just i'm giving kde and now login and since we are new to the pcbst operating system uh, it will give the user manual to use how to use the pcbst operating system so if you want to see this you can give next and continue reading or else you can just give don't show next startup and close it here and this is the pcbst's main home screen so there you can see the control panel and the app cave which contains the apps which we installed and the handbook which gives the complete guide to use the pcbst operating system so if you can go to the control panel there you can control the each and every devices as we seen in windows and since it's a linux or linux like operating system you can go to the terminal by hitting here and there you can see the console terminal and then the terminal arrives and hope this video will be very useful in installing PCBS to operating system thanks for watching